rumors are that Portia allegedly reached out to Candy for help. What kind of help is Portia seeking? And did Candy lend a helping hand? I have some new information that may answer those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, Kimfo. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly... Portia has reached out to Candy for help. What kind of help is Portia seeking? And did Candy lend a helping hand? I have some new information that may answer those questions and more. And here it goes. So Kimfo, let me read to you what my sources are saying about this particular rumor. Rumors are that allegedly Portia has officially reached out to Candy for some type of help. Allegedly, Portia and her team are rumored to be exhausting all efforts to secure a second season of her spinoff. Sources believe that a decision to renew Portia's spinoff could be reached as early as this month. Sources also think that Portia may be desperate to save her public image, being the main reason why she allegedly reached out to Candy. So a lot of people are wondering, did Candy decide to actually help Portia? Well, sources are saying Candy allegedly did give Portia some surface level advice. Allegedly, Candy told Portia to just be her authentic self while filming. A person close to the situation said, Candy and Portia have a very complicated relationship. Since their first falling out, Portia has made it very clear that she doesn't need Candy's help or advice in her professional career or in her personal life. However, industry insiders say that Candy is Portia's best option to take advice from during this rocket season of her career. Industry insiders also say that Candy's insight into Bravo's talent thinking could really help Portia rebrand herself in the long run. And lastly, sources think that this alleged reach out by Portia is a signal that she may be ready to change her image and regain her spot as one of Bravo's top tier talent. Now Kimfo, when I look over this rumor, I find some bits and pieces of it that could be, you know, factual. And it makes a lot of sense in a lot of places. First off, I can definitely see Portia's team trying to exhaust every avenue they have available to them to try to get her spinoff renewed for a second season. Right now is crunch time. If you look at the timeline in which Portia got her uh, first season um, greenlit and the announcement was made, it was around this time, April, between April and May of some time. So that means negotiations probably were going on in March and in April. And if, and if that is true, then April is really crunch month. And by the end of April, I can see Bravo wanting to make a decision so they can get pre-production in place for May and June and start filming like they did last year around July, August. It makes perfect sense um, to me. So with that being said, that's the part of the room I can kind of see as being factual. If Portia's uh, second season has not been renewed, then right now is crunch time for her and her team. Um, secondly, the part of the uh, rumor that, uh, you know, Portia reached out to Candy because she was just so desperate for um, help. 
That part of the rumor I can see, but in the context in which it was delivered, I'm not too uh, convinced of. I think if Portia did reach out, out to Candy, I think it was not necessarily in a desperate attempt. I think it was just to read the room and see how Candy felt about the situation. Because, you know, whether a lot of people want to agree or not, Candy seems to have Bravo and what they're looking for in talent pretty much figured out. Um, she's been the only housewife with she's the housewife who has had the most number of spinoff and spinoff specials. So I can see Portia, you know, taking a moment to self-reflect and say, you know what? I, me and Candy probably don't have the best relationship, but at the same time, Candy has shown time and time again that whatever the sauce is and whatever the formula that she has, Bravo loves it, they like it, and they respect it. And so I can see Portia probably putting on her boss hat and saying, you know what, let me humble myself and let me just ask Candy, what's up? How do I fix this? Because I think now Portia realizes that her brand has taken major hits. And she's probably looking at the fact that her show had high ratings and that allegedly Bravo still may not even want to touch her again for another special or another spinoff. So that probably did bruise her ego a little bit to where she said, you know what, let me just see what Candy um, is saying about this or how Candy feels about this. Now, Candy's advice. The advice that this rumor is saying that Candy gave Portia, well, you know, I can see Candy. She's a very loyal person. Um, and her brand is helping other black women succeed helping other black people succeed in general so i can see her giving uh portia some advice and this part of the rumor i think candy if true did give portia some surface level advice i don't think candy gave portia the formula to fix her situation and i do believe candy does know the formula to fix portia's situation but i don't think she gave it to her and this is why I don't think uh, Candy gave her that, that advice. One, I think Candy has finally come to the realization that no matter what she tells Portia, Portia's going to pretty much do what she wants to do. And Candy's had that happen with her and her relationship with Portia time and time and time again. You know, in other words, Portia really just doesn't listen to Candy's advice. And even though Portia, if this information is true, um, you know, I can see... Portia probably actually now really wanting Candy's, Candy's advice. And Candy is probably saying, you know, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to give her some surface level advice. Now, this alleged advice that Candy gave uh, Portia is technically still good advice. It's just that I don't think that's the type of advice that, you know, Portia is looking for. We want Portia to be her authentic self. We want her to tell us the truth and the true nature of her relationship with Simon, her relationship with Fallon. And we want to see the real Portia. However... I don't think that's the, the the information or the advice Portia is looking for. I think she would want Candy probably to tell her, okay, what executives to talk to? What executives do I need to kiss up to? What do I need to say if I get a meeting with them? What promises do I need to make in order to get them on my side and renew my episode, renew my series for another uh, season? I think that's the, like in-depth advice Portia and her team uh, may be allegedly looking for. Not that surface level, you know, just be yourself. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, at this point, Portia is still competition for Candy. So I could see Candy thinking and putting her boss head on like, you know, at the end of the day, do I want to see a black woman succeed? Of course. But at the same time, she is my direct competition. So I can probably play both sides of the fence. Give her, give her some advice, but don't give her any like advice, advice. But Kimfo, I want to know what you guys think. All my sources are telling me that right now is crunch time for Portia and her team. They have to get something on the table and something agreed to within the next couple of weeks if they want to start production this summer. Pre-production takes a lot of time, a lot of planning, and a lot of money. And right now, I can see Bravo getting closer to that decision. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Portia, at this fourth quarter... Do you think she has a chance to save her spinoff show and get a second season? Or do you think this fourth quarter push is a little bit too little, too late, and that Bravo may be ready to move on from Portia? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. 
All right, Kim folk. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I see you guys over on the next one. Peace.